Good evening everybody and welcome to everyone who's watching this video. In this video, I want to talk and show you a beautiful demo uh, with the front end of course. Smart way to capture, monitor and report status of Python jobs using DynamoDB single table design. Often in organization, we are running hundreds and thousands of jobs. A uh, lot of jobs fail, a lot of jobs succeed. It's very crucial to capture these essential metadata about the job, such as the start date of a job, end date of a job. Each job can have several tasks and this essentially gives you more control or view exactly what happened, what time the error occurred and where exactly it failed. So let me show you what I'm talking about uh, with a short demo. And here is a article that I have written. So I, um, you know, uh, I suggest you guys to come and read about it. There is a code and all the stuff step by step is listed here, right? So let me show you a demo, right? So again, the, the end user or the clients will be using uh, these decorators, right? So what this does is basically whenever anybody is writing code, these essentially decorators are gonna log the activity of a, of a method or a function. So every time a job starts, it creates a unique process. And now you essentially can monitor whether the job succeeded, failed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So the first use case is pretty uh, simple. I'm gonna run this job. Uh, actually, you know what, let me uh, raise an exception and I'm gonna raise some, let's say this is the exception raised by the code, right? So I'm gonna say, So assume something in the API failed or something happened, right? Again, this job was running on an EC2 or wherever you guys are running. It could be a scraping job. It could be any any particular job. And as you can see, it did fail, right? What I wanna show you is, is now, if you observe, I made a beautiful UI and here you can get all the statuses of a job in a particular day. So for example, if I wanna see what, uh, how many jobs ran on 16th, that is yesterday, I can see here all the jobs that ran on the 16th. Okay, you know what, let me see the failed jobs. Oh, look, these are the jobs that failed. Okay, that makes sense. Let me see what happened on 17th. So let me remove this. Let me click uh, here and here you can see, I can see every single jobs uh, that ran on the day 17. Here you can see I do have three failed jobs and uh, of course you can uh, filter down by using the word failed here. And also if you wanna get further uh, details, you can click uh, and as you can see here, Samil, thanks for the project. This is the one that we created. So I can click on view task and this essentially shows me which step exactly my API has failed, right? So here you can see the task name was step two call API. And if you observe, that is the name of the function, right? And here you can see this is when it started. This is when it ended, it's mark as failed. And here is the exact exception which is captured, right? I can close, um, I can see this one, right? I can easily navigate and essentially get more details about how many jobs ran, how many jobs were successful, did any job get failed, etc., etc. So here I do have a beautiful UI. And as I said, this is completely powered with a DynamoDB single table design. Um, again, everything is modeled in a single table. And the reason of using DynamoDB uh, as you know, it's super fast. It can handle millions of concurrent requests, uh, reads and writes. Uh, so that's the beauty of Dynamo. I have a view, aggregated view, through which I can get the data for a day, for a month, in a range, right? I can select on a process, I can query my GSI, and all of this works flawlessly uh, without any problem. Again, I have everything listed here step by step. So if companies want to adopt this solution, all you gotta do is just spin up the DynamoDB table and, and use and directly start using the decorator's DynamoDB task. It's literally that easy. Now further, I am gonna work um, and I'm gonna develop a solution where anytime a process failed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna capture this using Kinesis data stream. Once we have it in the data stream, the Lambda will be processing and all the failed items we can publish to an SNS where we can alert the user that, hey, this process failed at this and this time and if needed, a person can take a look at the job. So this is my complete solution, uh, essentially, as I said, um, the title. Smart way to capture, monitor, and report statuses for Python jobs using DynamoDB single table design. Further, we can also add matrix if needed. When a job is running, we can add CPU, memory matrix, and all the other crucial detail if you want. You could simply log it. Um, again, 
very simple to use for the clients. All they have to do is simply decorate their methods and automatically it logs any activity. And if you observe, I don't have to essentially use try catch, try catch, right? Automatically the the try catch takes uh, the decorator takes care of it. If you observe the decorator creates a task, it calls the function. If the function is true, it will mark that as success. If it failed, automatically marks a task as uh, failed, marks a process as and failed, and of course, is an exception. And here, as you can see, flawlessly, without any problem now, you can get more insights about jobs running in your company. Let me quickly share my screen. This might take a minute or two. So hopefully uh, loads up and as you can see, it works pretty flawlessly and very, very, very fast. Um, since we are querying the data based on an index, I exactly know what are my access pattern. For example, for a process, I want to fetch all the tasks and I showed you all this in a beautiful model, right? I want to fetch everything by a baby and in a date. I want to see all the process in a particular date. I want to see all the failed, the, the succeeded. So I can just type and I can quickly search through uh, my processes and I can essentially see which one failed, what time it failed, and if an action needs to be done, it could be taken, right? So I hopefully you guys have enjoyed this solution. The entire code is there on the GitHub section step by step. So if you come to the article, uh, there is a GitHub link which has every single thing step by step. So if I can show you quickly, here you can see uh, I have shown all the commands and how to start using this solution. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please make sure to hit the thumbs up on this video. All the resources, code and article is uh, listed on the description section below. So if needed, you guys can watch the video, read the article and implement the solution in your company. Thank you so much for watching. I would be seeing you in the next upcoming videos.